Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this series of do-it-yourself self-study kit for Cisco PCC deployment, I'm going to show you how to deploy the virtual template to prepare for the PCC installation. Now, you will be provided with uh, an OVF template from Cisco, often known as the Golden Template. You could use that golden template to deploy the PCC. Now, these are the golden template that you can download from Cisco website. And the one that I'm going to use is called the package CCE-UCCE. Now, I have a VMware server right here. I will, um, I'm not going to go into the VMware part that much for right now. But this is a server that I'm going to use for the PCC deployment. So I'm going to go ahead and create a v, uh, VM, a virtual machine, and using the deploy virtual machine from an OVF or OVA file. So you click next and here you define name. So let's call this PCC. Um, you can call it a base or you can call it a ROG or A, uh, depending on the purposes. Of course, uh, I will just call it a ROG or A right now. And then I will select the PCC deployment. I'm going to go to that folder and I will select that template file. Click OK and it will select the storage now i recommend you select the right storage so i will select the local storage for this now obviously you need two network card public and uh, private network public network is a visible network and the private network of course is your um, a network between the servers for replication as well as for heartbeat now uh, obviously for lab wise you will select thin client but for lab production you want to select the thick deployment um, that's pretty much it. So now you have a virtual machine deployed right here. You can go ahead and select, you know, install Windows 2012 or whatever version that you want. And I will show you that I have one created for uh, another pod which has been installed already called the UCCE base. And once the base has been installed, I will simply select, you know, install the necessary software, whether it is um, uh, Windows or uh, Microsoft uh, SQL Server customization and whatnot. So I have created a base and with, after the base then I have modified uh, right here, for example, this is the first server that I have created. Once I have installed Windows, I made sure the server is part of my Active Directory. It has the proper IP address for private and public interface. So if I want to verify that, I can go to CM, uh, CM and I say IP config all. So you will you should see both publisher and subs, uh, sorry not publisher private and public addresses right there. Uh, at the same time, I want to make sure that I am a member of domain and I must log in as a domain account as well. So I am currently part of pod 8 domain. And if you want to find out what uh, user ID you have used to log in, you can just simply type who am I and that will give you whatever the username you have used to log in. So it is extremely important that you must log in uh, locally, sorry, uh, with the domain account in order for this to work. Next, you're going to install Microsoft SQL Server. You can follow the guide uh, line. It's pretty straightforward. Um, right now, I'm going to show you the Microsoft, uh, sorry, a SQL Server application, which has been pre-installed, by the way. Okay, so you're going to log in using the Windows account to your uh, SQL Server. Make sure that both local admin and domain admin has the privilege uh, for the SA login. So I, I, I have to choose the right server, of course. To, um, okay. 
so it is logged in I will go to the first thing you want to make sure under properties is that you're running Microsoft SQL Server as mixed most authentication both SQL Server and Windows uh, authentication should be allowed so that's your first step then you go to security you want to go to login and you want to make sure your SA account is not disabled by default it is some cases I have my Windows domain account right there pod uh, one sorry pod eight administrator and of course you have your Windows user and username and password you go to server role make sure it is set to public and assist admin now it doesn't really matter you can also create the other but uh, those are the two minimum things you need now you also make sure that the built-in administrator has a privilege as well so same privileges okay so nothing else needs to be created uh, another thing you need to verify is your network card if you are deploying duplex you gotta make sure that you have both pub and sub not pub and sub public and private private sorry and this is right now my private uh, public address which is ethernet uh, uh, ethernet rather so I'll just rename it to public and this is of course private and once that is done you want to click on the alt tab and go to the advanced menu and go to advanced settings you want to change the binding to make sure that the public publish public uh, interface is at the top you also want to make sure that your IP version 6 is disabled okay so the IP addresses are fine uh, let's quickly uh, go and ping our site so I would say 142 64 73 would be my AWD so far looks good 75 is my uh, PG which also looks good all right so that's the deployment that we need to do and once we have that right now what I have is I got an AW PCC AW I have PCC uh, okay let me see why oh, okay let me rename them so that they are all in line Cisco PCC Cisco PCC so basically they should be all in the same area <clears throat> so I have my rugger admin and a PG now I'm going to in this particular series I'm going to deploy du a simplex lab just to show you because duplex requires me to have um, the Cisco UCS M series server which I currently don't have at this stage but in the future we will uh, convert it to those uh, physical hardware and we will then uh, show you uh, the videos for those as well all right so now that I have done and one of the first thing I must do in order for the PCC deployment is from the rugger a I will go to the tools and then I will go to domain manager and make sure that there is uh, you know so I'm going to delete this existing config that I have and I will recreate a instance okay we'll call this facility North America and then we'll call it VBC as an instance okay so this is the only thing that I need to do in order for the PCC to uh, get started all right, so this is the uh, overview about the OVF deployment. I will show you how to customize the inventory files that will be required for us to deploy the wizard through the CCE web admin. So I will see you in the 